Hey guys, Jambit here, back in another video, and today we're back here in Kaido Super Tycoon for another one of these car review um, series episodes, and yeah, so, uh, yeah, welcome back, and uh, yeah, like uh, as per usual, this is obviously on a Wednesday at 2 p.m. EST, make sure to check in every Wednesday at 2 p.m. EST, you guys will probably see some videos on the on the channel already as premieres, and, um, and yeah, so make sure to check it out every Wednesday at 2 p.m to see yet another episode um next week's gonna be pretty exciting exciting because we're gonna do yeah because i'm gonna film yet another um head-to-head -head video so yeah make sure to stay tuned for that one um it's gonna be pretty interesting for me at least and i think you guys will enjoy it i picked some pretty cool cars for it now um i will say that this car was suggested by, let me just uh, quickly go ahead and find their name. So they, the person who suggested, I'll put their comment up link right here, is Jime eight oh nine. So make sure to uh, uh, make sure to like this video for Jime eight oh nine. Um, one of my fans. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, thank you for suggesting this car. And uh, yeah, you guys probably saw it in the comment already. So this is the Apollo IE. Um, just a regular Apollo IE. No, now IE stands for Attenza Emons. Uh, I think it's in. I think I think it's Italian. I think uh, translating to English, it's intense emotions, which is pretty cool. And so, um, yeah, no, but there are actually only three Apollos in the entire game, which I find pretty interesting. Um, so we have the Apollo. Or actually, no. This is this is the Gumper Apollo. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the uh, Apollo IE, IE Evo, which I already made a video on. I'll link it in the end screen. And then um, we have the Apollo IE. And now this thing is actually uh, the, the exact same thing as the uh, Evo, but it has um, it's just slightly older, so it doesn't have an interior, and it actually doesn't OG wrap though. Even though this one does actually have an OG wrap as well, uh, this one has had an OG wrap for a long time, and um, it's not particularly bad, but uh, it's 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 okay, I guess. I, I like it though, so I'm gonna keep it on here. But uh, yeah, so it's a Galaxy wrap, pretty cool. And um, yeah, so I mean, the Apollo IE, super super insane looking, obviously with a massively uh, over really sized front splitter and that aggressive front end as well. Carries on with the Apollo Evo. Um, the diffuser, everything is just super crazy in this car. So, yeah, so I think it's pretty good. And as per usual with these reviews, we always do fully maxed upgrades except for the drivetrain. So, yeah, this is real drive. It's going to stay real drive. Yeah, so this thing is valued at $15 million. Now, originally, this would be uh, $10 million when it first came out, which was, I think it was like four years ago. So this, thing's got, this car is really old. I don't know why they haven't added an interior for this one yet. But yeah, so pretty cool. And yeah, so for the upgrade, we have top speed at 271 miles per handling 8.8, drive turns rear drive, 72 dollars and pulls your dealerships at 3,038 per mile. So yeah, pretty cool. And um, yeah, I think this thing is actually pretty decent. Now it does actually have the same exact stats as the Apollo Evo. Um, I think. This originally went like 228, but then I got buffed to 250 ish stock, which is really weird. I don't know why they did that, but um, it happened when this car was released. So I think it's something with the code. But uh, yeah, so pretty interesting. But yeah, so let's go ahead and test this on the uh, drag race. So obviously, half mile. And um, yeah, I'm actually curious to see how this performs because I know that this thing is pretty fast. I know the Evo is pretty fast too, but um, I, I think this thing is uh, pretty good. Now, we're probably going to compare this with cars like the, the Zonda R and the uh, Project 1, the AMG Project 1, or AMG 1. Um, yeah, so, yeah, but as you can see, I mean, acceleration is pretty good. Also, I'm recording on another device because my regular device is kind of being worked on right now, but, uh, yeah, so, um, pretty good though, I mean, 10.2 seconds is, uh, pretty good, and, um, roughly 250 uh, power, uh, to finish, 
Yeah, it's pretty fast. I think all your drives though, maybe a lot faster. And um, yeah, also if you guys can hear my keyboard, that is my apologies. It's it's one of my new keyboards I bought for this uh, old laptop. Um, but uh, yeah, but um, also let me know what you guys want to see because I know you guys haven't really suggested. The last suggestion I got was for this Apollo IE. Also, next obviously Sector Racer. Um. Yeah, I'm just keep suggesting cars because I don't actually know what to, uh, what to do. I don't know what you guys want, and so it's better if you suggest so that you guys can watch what videos that you want to see, because I will film them for you guys. And uh, yeah, I might actually start filming Minecraft as well, because um, I do have Minecraft on this laptop. Um, but yeah, so as we're waiting for this five lap circuit race. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, I will say that this laptop does have a bit of a crispier uh, recording. It doesn't lag as much, I will say, as the uh, as my other device on the recording. I'm not sure why. I think it's just Streamlabs itself, because I use Streamlabs to record usually. This time I'm just using some like, regular screen recorder or something. I don't know. But, like, but like yeah, so I'm gonna probably download OBS soon. Hopefully on the weekend and that date, which will be a tire or not tire change, but like a, a paint reflectance customization update. Um hopefully I will have an OBS I'm recording. I'll hopefully I'll have it recorded on OBS. Um because I haven't actually used it before. But uh, I'm gonna download it probably this week and I'm probably gonna experiment and I'll do my first video with it on this weekend, actually, for the UFB. Uh, but yeah, so pretty cool though. I mean, this thing is pretty decent around the track. It's not the greatest thing, but I mean, it's high top speed and good acceleration definitely help it around the corners. But I will say its handling definitely proves to be correct, just like the um, Hollow IE Evo. Now I will say this thing is not particularly uh, fast on the corners I will say that actually it holds the speed but it, it kind of makes it slow um it is pretty decent though along the streets it is a very fast accelerating car so um it's it, it'll be it'll be able to recover with it only if you like crash or something and it's real giant obviously so uh you know if you make a whole drive, I think this would be a uh, uh, a much faster car. Now, obviously there's some driver error, but um, yeah. So it's pretty interesting though to see how uh, how how this car is though, because uh, I'm pretty sure this is only for track. Uh, well, it's it's mostly track focused, but it, I think it's street legal as well. And so, um, yeah, but I think there's only like 10 or 15 of these, maybe even less than that, in the entire world in real life. So, um, yeah, so this thing is uh, pretty crazy. I think these are valued at around 3 to $4 million. And, uh, and yeah, so I think it's also has a, I think it has a Ferrari deprived 6.5 liter V12. That produces, I think it's around 750 to 800 horsepower. Uh, I could be wrong with that, but um, yeah, it's it's pretty powerful, and I think it's uh, it sounds it's one of the best sounding cars in the world. I think um, it's very loud, and, yeah. So pretty cool. Um, but yeah, finishing the circuit race right there. So yeah, that is a uh, pretty impressive. Also, I keep forgetting that I have to put these on the chart. Um, so, yeah, so total time, 3 minutes, 21, and S lab is 35.7. Pretty decent, and drag time, I don't actually remember. I think it was 10.2 uh, on 1. Um, I'll correct it when I'm editing, but um, yeah, but uh, all the information in the chart will be accurate. It will be correct by then by when this is posted. So I'll correct it in the chart when I am uh, editing and stuff because I'll actually remember the, the number. But 
Um, yeah, pretty actually pretty decent car. I will say. I'm the car right now. For its cars in its price range, I mean, Honda R. We just did that one last time. It did particularly well, actually. I think it did. It was really really fast. Um, I just realized I got a better lap time. I got a better faster. No, I got a faster best lap time than the Chevrolet Sport or uh, Super Sport Ninja Plus, which is pretty interesting. Um, I did not expect that actually. But uh, anyways, yeah. So I mean, just looking at the chart right now, it compares really well to the AMG one, which is the same price. Um, but it does have a slightly does have a slightly slower um like does actually have a slightly slower uh, uh best lap time but i think it is uh it is actually slightly faster in the total time which is pretty interesting it is actually faster in the, in the drag race by a significant amount more than a half a second um and yeah it's actually it's actually really fast, I will say that. Um, let's see what else is like compared to... Oh, there's not many yeah, cars. There's not many, uh, there's not there's not cars in that price range. I guess, I guess you could say Valkyrie. That's yeah, more Valkyrie. It did worse in the best lap. No. Yeah, it did worse in the best lap, but total time... Actually, yeah, it's slower than the Valkyrie, except in the Draggers. Which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I think it did particularly well. I wouldn't say like extremely, extremely well, but it did good enough that I think it's still worth the $15 million. But I'm looking at the chart right now and I'm just looking at the 720S and GTR um, results, and it's actually not that much slower than this Apollo, which is uh, pretty crazy considering they're like sub a million dollars. Um, but, yeah, so, let's probably wrap up this video, though. I mean, I don't want to drag you guys around. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up right now. And, uh, yeah, so if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, stop that bell notification icon, notification icon. It's because I posted, so you guys are going to notify when I post a new video or go live. I cannot talk right now. Um, um, yeah, so, uh, thank you guys for, uh, tuning into this video. This is uh, another car review series. Stay tuned for next week, every Wednesday. Uh, yeah, stay tuned every Wednesday at 2 p.m. EST for yet another car review series episode. Next week's gonna be pretty exciting because I'm doing yet another head-to-head -head video. It's gonna be the second head-to-head -head video, and um, my first head-to-head -head video actually did uh, pretty good. I know you guys, uh, I know a bunch of you guys liked it. Um, let me just check the channel real quick, and yeah, I think it did really good. Uh, for loads yeah 101 views i know one of my buddies drift was uh, pretty excited when he when he saw it but um yeah so yeah so make sure to stay tuned for next week and also just every wednesday at tpmhd for yet another car review episode and um yeah so that's why i'm wrapping this video uh i'll quick recap covering the brand new or we reviewed the Apollo IE, suggested by John 809 and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this video, little bro. And uh, and yeah, thank you for just thank you for suggesting, by the way. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, that's all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.